The world is evolving and things are changing. So you can't break somebody's heart and go scot free, or you can't eat somebody's money and you go scot free. This time around, we talk her, a Ugandan woman who has ended her relationship with fiancé has been ordered to pay him financial damages for and psychological torture as well. The court in Kanogo said that Richard paid the sum of 9.5 million shillings for fortunate a law student which she must now repay plus his legal fees by calling off their engagement after four years of being together the magistrate ruled that the lady had broken a promise to the detriment of mr richard the court described it as unreasonable and a represent a misrepresentation and a fraud for the defendant to argue that her parents had told her not to marry an older man, saying that she had had all the opportunities to reject the plaintiff's love request at the earliest point possible and avoid interfering with his financial obligations. So the, the court has ordered her to pay a sum of 9.4 million shillings for ending her relationship with Mr. Richards. This has been trending on social media. This has been making rounds. Other ladies are supporting while others are as well saying this is not a good act at all. Whatever you think on that issue, if you are interested, do watch subscribe on our YouTube channel, which is a CMTV Boss, for more interesting entertainment stories just like that one. And of course, a follow-up story to that Uganda lady story. We also take you to Nigeria where we talk how a suspected commercial sex worker was found dead in the brutal along Old Road in Onitsha, Anambra State. The disease, simply identified as Chisholm from Inogo State, was said to have died on Monday, January 30th, 2023, after washing her own dishes by herself. Controver controversial, or the t controversial rumors has it that the trade of the cost of the dead for this lady was uh, noticed by her neighbors who alerted the authorities. While some said that she hanged herself in her hotel room, others said she might have been dragged to death by an early caller over a financial disagreement. While another version alleged that she took poison and died. Those were the views of her neighbors who gathered at the scene. A neighborhood who spoke to the, the authorities alleged that the disease committed suicide after finding out that her boyfriend had dumped her for another woman. She said she had a boyfriend that always spent a lot of money on her. Even this last Christmas, the boy came to her with a bag of rice worth $200,000. Among others, among other items, and asked her to travel for Christmas and come back later. She further said, as soon as she came back, she was told that her boyfriend had married. Since then, she started behaving abnormally, and just three days ago, she was seen holding a rope on her hand. When asked why she, what she was doing with it, she became very aggressive. Early in the morning, she swept her room. Around 9 a.m., what we heard was she committed suicide in her room. We saw her neck tied with a rope to the window in her room, but her legs were touching the floor. So we don't know if it was suicide as no foam was gossing out from her mouth, but the tongue was out. Operative from Onicha, that's the police area command close to the scene of the incident, visited the hotel around 12.30 p.m. and left with some officials of the hotel who returned with an ambulance and took the cops away. The spokesperson of the state police command in Onicha, who confirmed the incident, said investigation has commenced to see who actually perpetrated the act or she died on her own. They said, no suicide note was found in the room to suspect suicide. We are exploring all options to unveil the circumstances surrounding the death of Chisholm. The commander stated, so they are actually investigating the case as of now to know who actually did what to this lady or she died 
with her own hands. Whatever be the case, as usual, we are always ready to investigate and dig more into the stories and bring you latest updates as usual. So we say thank you so much for watching. Do want to subscribe for more updates on our YouTube channel at CMTV Buzz. That's it. We take you to another interesting story.